What is the diagnosis? We see patchy bilateral ground glass opacities with some sparing of individual lobules, producing atriographic appearance. Dependently, there's dense opacification. These findings can be nonspecific, but in this case, the diagnosis was acute interstitial pneumonia, or AIP. This term is reserved for diffuse alveolar damage of unknown cause. The acute or exudative phase is characterized by edema and hyaline membrane formation. The later organizing phase is characterized by airspace and or interstitial organization. Histology is similar to acute respiratory distress syndrome. In the acute phase, patchy gram glass opacities are seen, often with some sparing of individual lobules, producing a geographic appearance. There's dense opacification in the dependent lung, producing an anteroposterior gradient. In the later organizing phase, architectural distortion, traction bronchiectasis, cysts, and reticular opacities are seen. Here's an axial CT of a patient three months after the acute phase. This is now the late phase, and there's evolution of the lung opacities to now areas of articulation. Areas of fibrosis tend to involve the non-dependent regions of the lung, which are thought to suffer more from barotrauma than the posterior previously consolidated areas. Here's another case of late organizing phase with evolution of pulmonary consolidation into areas of articulation and irregular opacities. Complications include pneumonia, abscess, pneumothorax, pneumomediastinum, and pulmonary interstitial emphysema. In terms of the differential, there are many, including acute respiratory distress syndrome, multilobar pneumonia, acute exacerbation of interstitial lung disease, diffuse alveolar hemorrhage, and hydrostatic pulmonary edema. The case here shows an ILD exacerbation, which can mimic AIP. Presentation of AIP is a flu-like syndrome for 7 to 14 days prior to presentation. Symptoms include headache, myalgia, sore throat, malaise, dry cough, fever, progressive shortness of breath. This AP chest x-ray of an adult male with AIP during the early phase shows diffuse bilateral heterogeneous and reticular opacities. Corresponding CT of the same patient shows crazy paving and bronchiectasis. AIP is not a pathologic diagnosis, but again requires histologic findings of diffuse alveolar damage, absence of an identifiable etiology, presence of acute symptoms, and pulmonary opacities on imaging. Unfortunately, no effective treatment is known. Steroids produce a variable response. Prognosis is poor, with high mortality rate. You now know a lot about AIP, acute interstitial pneumonia. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.